Hey, what's going on guys, and welcome back to another episode in my Football Manager series. This is episode 60, and today we're returning with two massive games with our Bluebirds. I just take on Manchester United in Wales in a massive clash in the top four, then Arsenal away in the second leg of our Europa League round of 16 tie. And normally at this point, I'd say, if we get to the game, it's going to show our card for getting off camera. But instead, there's something to show you off camera because you saw the last two games in the last episode. Of course, our 2 1 victory over Sun at the stadium, like where we just about made it through to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup after extra time. And then, of course, the 2-1 defeat at home to Arsenal in the first leg of our Europa League round of 16 tie, our first defeat in Wales this season. And heading to the game against Manchester United right now in the Premier League, as you can see, City played yesterday, and they've now cut the gap on us in the top four to just two points. But we do have two games in hand. So right now, still in the top four, and we've got games in hand on both the teams below us in the table right now. But as we discussed in the last episode, it's still going to be really tough to stay in the top four between now and the end of the season because five of our ten remaining games in the Premier League are against teams in the top seven. United today, then uh, in a couple of weeks' time, we've got Liverpool as well, the league leaders right now. Arsenal away to come as well, plus Chelsea at home and Spurs at home on the final day as well. we still got some really big games to come. And uh, right now, Destiny is still in our own hands. But you've seen over the recent weeks, we are beginning to feel the pressure now. We're beginning to sweat a little bit and hopefully we won't crack because today's games are absolutely massive. Starting with this one right here, neither side can afford to lose. United chasing Liverpool right now at the top of the table. They're already four points behind and the Reds have a game in hand on the Red Devils as well. You'd have to say both teams today cannot afford a loss. Neither team can afford to leave with nothing today. So heading into the game we're going to play the 4-2-3-1 for the match after our 4-4-2 diamond narrow system against Arsenal did not work in the Thursday night clash and this will be our team right now. I need to report Gonzalez is still out with that broken toe and I don't know whether we come back to play on Thursday night. I doubt he'll make the game. He might play next week against Fulham in the FA Cup quarterfinal, but I don't think he'll play in the Arsenal game. I think he's done until next weekend. And this is our team for the game. We've got Onana back in goal, and the back four is gone. Calvis, Kimpembe, Holding, and Odriozola with Camarasa and McTominay through the middle after McKenney played really poorly on Thursday night. Attacking midfield trio, Sessignon on the left, Jason on the right, and Alenia through the middle supporting Paleo Maria up top. And this is a big game for Paleo Maria tonight. You know, he's now 23 years old. He's turning 24 in a couple of months. He's not a kid anymore, Paleo Maria. It's time for him to stop sweating when we've got a big match and time for him to stop fearing the pressure and playing under performance, uh, playing under his performance levels. This is this is a season where Maria's got to start kicking on in big games now and coming good when we need him to. He's got the big contract. He's now got to prove his worth. On the bench, Henderson, Jordi, Stefano, McKenney, Ward, Prowse, Woodburn and Pedro Antonio as well. So first game, it's a must not lose match. Match night at home. Come on, you bluebirds. So heading into the game, I'm going to keep it calm in my dressing room team talk. On the back of that loss on Thursday night, no need to overreact. Let's just keep it calm, keep it casual, and say to the boys... Manchester United have won four of their last five games. But if we perform to our best, we can deny them here. Fucking hell. Can't stand it when my team talks do absolutely nothing. It's one of my favourite parts of the game. And when they do nothing, it's it's so frustrating. I uh, also want to say as well as we get into the game, I have got a massive ulcer in the side of my mouth right now. And I mentioned this on YouTube before, but uh, I, I have had a problem since I was a kid of like just a cluster of ulcers appearing on my mouth. I think it's down to stress and a lack of sleep and bad oral hygiene as well. I don't know. But uh, I got a massive one in the side of my mouth and it's, it's killing me. And I also got a little cut on the top of my lip as well. So yeah, if I do sound a bit different today you'll understand why anyway 20 minutes into the game first tile that's going to fall here and it's going to come to the Bluebirds with Vic Camarasa we've seen this season has done really well for us the veteran spawn well, not really veteran at 30 but still the experienced Spaniard has steadied the ship through the middle of the park so many times this year as Jason down the right finds him on the edge of the area he's going to go for goal and De Gea makes the save and in fact there's a VAR and it might well be a penalty and there is Camarasa McTominay and someone else ran into the box and the referee's going to spot it I don't know what it's for but Jason Jason is going to stand up and take it against David De Gea. And the captain rarely lets you down from 12 yards. I have got literally no idea what I was given for. But as the boys run and celebrate with a skipper, Jason has fired us in front. 1-0 Bluebirds. He was never going to miss from 12 yards. He's only missed two penalties, I believe, since we signed... No, no, three. I think it's three penalties since we signed him back in Season 1. And Cardiff are in front. And Jason has made it two in two. Two, two goals in two minutes. And the captain 
Martin is turning up big time and saying to Paleo Maria, you're still my right hand man. This is still my team. Alenia's free kick. Jason beats there. He got caught in no man's land. I don't know why. He decided to dive with the ball way past him. Cardiff City 2. Manchester United 0. Oh, Captain, my captain. I love you so much. Don't switch off. Oh, for goodness sake. Seven minutes after getting a two-goal cushion. It's back to season one, season two, season three, season four, Cardiff, where we can't defend from set pieces. Casemiro nods it on. Jimenez is there. Cardiff 2, United 1. League cut in half already. And Spurs have just gone in front against Liverpool as well. For goodness sake. Come on, corner for the Bluebirds. Jason's delivery. Palermo Maria. Sesson, you horn. Oh, is he offside? The lino's not moving, and I think it might well be chalked off. Andre Marin is talking to the ref, uh, talking to the VAR, and it is indeed called offside. But I tell you what, that looks very tight indeed. It appears they've got it right, but if we don't win this game, we'll be reflecting on that decision as it's cancelled out. Still, two on at the break. What an action-packed first half, and Cardiff are in front. Liverpool are so goddamn OP in this year's FM, yet when we need them to win a game, they're losing at half-time. Isn't that typical? So I'll say to the boys to break here, because we, we've played really well. We've played really, really well, but I'm going to say to the boys, don't get complacent out there. In, in fact, in fact, you know what? Things are going well, but I know you're capable of even better. Oh, come on. I'm going to individually criticise Maria assertively as well, assertively. I'm not happy with you finishing, he's fired up from that. Paleo, you're 23 years old now, you're not an 18 year old. This isn't season 2 when we first signed you and you could afford to go missing. No mate, you're on 155 grand a bloody week. Seriously, come good in the big games man. If you want to be an elite striker, you've got to play well in the big games and not, and not feel the pressure, thrive under it. Anyway, an hour into the game, we're still up by a goal. Oh, now he's gone down with a knock as well. He's bruised his knee. McTominay's on a booking, and uh, he's done well out there, but I can't take the chance, so I'll bring on Weston. And I am tempted to bring off Paleo Maria as well, because he's, he's not played well out there, and I think I will. I'm going to bring on the kid, Pedro Antonio, the 18-year-old. See what he can do in the final 21 minutes. He's been a bit of a streaky goal scorer for us this season. Goes, goes away for a while, and then comes back with like three and four games. Anyway, 50 minutes to go, and we're still up by a goal. Almost there. Going to make one more change. Bring on James Ward-Prowse for Vic Camarasso, who's done really well out there once again over 6.9. You might have noticed in the home screen, he is pretty much always our best player for pass completion ratio. He rarely misplaces a pass. And what a big win it's going to be in Wales for Cardiff City. And the captain has come good when we needed him the most. He took a squad rotation squad status in his contract at the start of the season. A reduction in his squad status. But he's still a big game player. He's still my lover. And passionately I'll say, I have nothing specific to mention right now. We'll address everything in training. I won't really. But why can't I passionately say something different? A very nice victory. Well done. A very nice victory. Well done. That's all I can say passionately. But either way, a massive win. And for Jason, it is proof that even at the ripe old age of 30, this guy is still a crucial member of our squad. You know, I mentioned at the start of the season, eventually the guy's going to get phased out of the team. For fuck's sake, Liverpool. Eventually the guy's going to get phased out of the team. There's no doubt about that. But he is still one of our key players in this team. He's one of the top assist makers in the Premier League right now. And when you look at his stats as well, even in restricted minutes this year, with no injury unlike last year, he's, he still chipped in with 6 in 24. That's one in every four games. I think, yep. And uh, 11 assists in 24 as well. The guy's still got it. And I think the guy will still always have it until he finally hangs up his boots. He's, he's such an important player. And I'm going to say to the boy individually as well, just calmly, just calmly. You were superb in front of goal last time out. Keep it up. Oh, I tell you, I love this man so much, man, seriously. It's been a while since we did the chance. Should we do it again? Should we do it again? You would have heard the fans singing it coming to full-time whistle. Jason's fucking magic. He wears a magic hat. And when he saw Cardiff, he said, I fancy that. He didn't sign for City or Swansea because he's bright. He signed for Cardiff City, so we're playing down the right. Oh, Jason's fucking magic. What a player. Wait, did it go Swansea first or City first? I can't remember. It doesn't matter, does it? And just before we dive into that Arsenal game on Thursday night in North London, we've just got a new intake of youth players and our youth candidates are now here. And as you can see, uh, Thomas Toshak, perhaps the grandson of John Toshak, uh, stands out as one of the better players from this year's youth intake. Whenever, whenever your head of youth development says that, don't get too excited. And, um, oh, God. Oh, God. He might well be the grandson of John, but I'll tell you what, he's not going to be getting many caps for Wales. I'll tell you, that's... Um, 
that's not great. Six foot two to start off with, 13 jumping, but seven strength. I know he's only 15, but either way, tackling nine, heading six, 10 for marking as well. I mean, I'm not, I'm not overly optimistic. I'll, uh, I'll say that much. But uh, Thomas Toshak, the best youth candidate this year. He looks bloody awful. So let's move into the second and final game of today's episode. It is indeed the second leg of our Europa League round of 16 tie away against Arsenal. Don't forget, we need to score two goals tonight after the first leg result, which I think is very unlikely. But let's see if we can pull off the impossible and make it back-to-back -back wins. And of course, we haven't beaten Arsenal once in the entire save away at the Emirates. So very, very improbable result for Cardiff tonight. But let's see if we can do it. Uh, so 4 2 3 one for the game once again. But a few changes to our lineup with the FA Cup quarter final against Fulham in my on Sunday afternoon and this will be our team Onana in goal about for a Goncalves Kimpembe and in fact should we put Henderson in goal no, let's keep Onana in goal Goncalves Kimpembe a Geordie coming in for holdings I think he'd really struggled tonight away against his former team and a Stefano in for Audrey Azola as well uh, in midfield Camaras and McTominay once again though with the midfield uh, attacking midfield trio being Murphy coming on the left hand side and this is a big decision but Josh Murphy coming in and the reason I'm doing this is because Murphy's out of contract in the summer and as we know this guy's been with us since season one one of the Cardiff original was when we inherited the side and at a contrary to the summit this is, I think he's got like one or two final chances to save himself he's not played well this season in big games and he used to come good in big games so this is his final chance I think if, if Murphy performs well tonight he might get a contract otherwise I think this might all be one of his final games for the club uh, Eleni through the middle and Jace on the right hand side supporting Maria up top come on Paleo tonight mate we need you more than ever and on the bench Henderson holding Odrizola Warprowse Session on Woodburn and Antonio as well second and final game Arsenal away can we pull off the impossible make it through I doubt it but let's find out come on you bluebirds so I'm going to passionately say to the boys in the dressing room, we owe Arsenal after what happened seven days ago. Go out there and get a revenge. And that's a bit better. But uh, yeah, yeah, for Murphy, you know, two years ago, if you remember, he had that incredible season for us. His best year in a Cardiff shirt where he came good in so many massive games. But last season, he, he was just a shadow of himself. And this year as well, he scored three goals in the Europa League, but really hasn't done too well other than that. So I think this is probably his last chance, Josh Murphy, to get a new contract. Otherwise, he'll, uh, he'll probably be gone on a free transfer come the end of the season because now his, uh, his, his report card says he's only a leading player for Skybet Championship sides as Kimpembe has the ball away and Jason looks it clear. So last chance for Murphy tonight. Got to come good. Change our mentality to attacking for the final few minutes. But as Arsenal have a corner, if they go a goal up, it's certainly game over. Bastoni flicks on. Jason gives it back to him. And has gone. Calvez clears off the line. It's another escape from a set piece for Cardiff as Stefano will beat Suarez to the ball. We need a goal, and right now the only team looking like a scoring a goal is, is Arsenal. We haven't started this game at all. We haven't had a single shot in the first half in a game we need to score two. Milinkovic Savic, who scored in the first leg, finds Suarez down the left hand side as McTominay makes the tackle. Stefano picks it up and plays it into Carl Zelenia. Come on, Cardiff. Let's create something and get ourselves a chance. Jason down the right hand side feeds it into Carl's and Alenia to Maria. Takes it on himself. And oh, it's gone in. Paleo Maria. What do we say pre-game? You've got to start coming good now in big games. You're not a kid anymore. You're a man. Maria with the finish. And Cardiff have that goal to draw level on aggregate. But don't forget, we still need another duty away goal ruling. Leno will certainly want that one back. Goalkeepers in FM are so fucking shit, aren't they? Like, they're so bad. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, it's 1 0 Cardiff. Leno Howler and Maria takes his 40th goal of the season. If we can get two goals in a space of two minutes like we did against the Red Devils on the weekend, that would be fantastic. Alenia dispossessed though, and now a chance for Arsenal to cancel out our goal. Suarez goes for goal. Onana beats it away. Still 1-0. I just don't understand why they're so bad. Like, the animations are just comical at times. Like, what was he doing? He was right next to the ball, and he just seems to, like, collapse into himself. Anyway, still leading by our goals. We surrender a free kick there, and we've been really poor at defending set pieces in recent weeks, haven't we? But still, we're, we're leading by a goal. That's a great way to end the first half, and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll take this scoreline for now. It's something to build on in the second half. Pellucci into Gomez and as McTominay wins it back Scott McTominay will always have a place in this team and what a kick by O'Nan to find Murphy who jinks around one and plays a brilliant ball Marie's in behind Paleo oh yes Paleo Marie's finally 
coming good. Arsenal nil. Cardiff to him. What a ball by Josh Murphy playing for a contract. And what a fantastic assist. Great kick out wide by Onana. Murphy jinks around the number two. Takes a touch. And how about that for a perfect weighted ball? It's a poor interception, really. Missed interception. But as Maria puts it past Leno, he gets his brace. Paleo Maria, is this the season where the boy becomes the man? The two away goals, we've got them in the first half. And as things stand, we're 45 minutes away from pulling off the impossible. Oh my, oh my, oh my. I tell you what, talk about a snatch and grab. Two attempts in the first half, we scored through both of them. And I'll say to the boys at the break, you might be winning, but that could all still change if your performance levels drop. Don't let that happen. And for Paleo, he's confused and demotivated by that, and he's lost confidence, oh God. But to be fair, I tell you, I, 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 needed, I needed Maria tonight to start his transition from boy to man. He's certainly done that. Renato Sanchez on the break for Arsenal. No changes for the well side. We still lead by two, and the Gunners must score in this second half. Otherwise, we're going through to the centre, to the quarters even. For one of the Gunners, though, and Suzo whips one to the far post. Oh, and Gomez! nods it in and Arsenal have that goal it's 3-3 over two legs and the Gunners have got what they needed tonight. Suzo delayed his corner there, put everyone off and as Gomez beats Onana to the ball, nods it into the back of the net it's 3-3 and the tie could not be more neatly poised and now they've got that goal you fancy Arsenal to get another and to win this tie but instead as Eleni hits that wide towards Stefano it's still anyone's guess as to who could win it oh no that was the chance for the match ball Going to make a change here and uh, bring off Kamarash, who's not played well tonight on a 6.6, .6, and bring on JWP to play deep line playmaker. Quarter of an hour to go, and as things stand, set for extra time. But again, don't forget that we, we've actually got a better chance of going through as things stand right now, due to the fact if we score again, due to the away goal ruling, Arsenal will need two. Paleo. Oh, denied by Leno at the near post. He's had some golden chances tonight, and he's taken two, but he should have had at least three, really. And that is going to do it. Wow, what a thrilling tie this has been. And it's the same scoreline as we had in Wales. 2-1 over 90 minutes, and now we're into extra time. And this is a big team talk from yours truly here. And I'm going to say to the boys, I'm going to say to the boys calmly... Keep it calm. Don't let this slip away from you now. We've been the better team, and we need to show it in extra time. They've gained confidence. I'm going to make a change as well. Elenia's getting really tired out there, too. He has got an assist and played well tonight, but he's getting quite tired. So what I'm going to do is bring on... Oh, I don't even know. I don't even know. Woodburn? Woodburn? Ben Woodburn? He's one of the top scorers in the Europa League. Let's do it. Let's bring him on. Woodburn coming on, and that'll do it for our uh, for our second change. We've got one left in the bank. So half an hour, half an hour to go. Still tied at 3-3, but it's anyone's guess as to who goes through here. The tie is balanced on a knife edge. The first tie that's going to come to Cardiff as well with James Ward-Prowse on the ball finding Murphy. He's got Goncalves down left-hand side if he spots him. Instead, Murphy comes inside himself and goes for goal, and it's the crossbar, and Maria can't turn in the rebound as Leno just about beat him to the ball, and it's still 2-1. We, we've played really well out there for the massive underdogs in us, and that will probably do it for the first half of extra time. But there is a free kick for the Gunners, and Suzo blazes it off target. I'm on the edge of my seat right now, as are 60,000 fans inside the stadium. 15 minutes to go. Are we set for a shootout? Thank God Ben Davis isn't on the bench. Goncalves is shattered out there, though. He's been one of our best players tonight, but he's absolutely exhausted. I feel like I've got to take him off. I mean, even Jason is getting tired of there. But to be fair, Jason's not played too well tonight. And you know what I'm tempted to do here? Do you know what I'm very tempted to do? I'm tempted to make a statement. We're sat on the edge of the pitch right now. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a big decision here. And this is a massive decision. I'm going to say to Palea Maria, take the captain's armband from Jason. Because he's done for the night. Ryan Sessegnon is going to come on. We're going to swap him and Josh Murphy around. So there's more fresh legs to help Gon Cowers down at left-hand side. Maria will take the armband. And mate, this is this is on you now. You've played well tonight. You've bagged a brace. Go get the match go, uh, go match ball. Go put us into the quarterfinals. What a moment in the season. Jason off, Session on. Maria takes over. 
And I think that is going to do it. But there is a highlight of a minute after go. It's gone. Calvez, he's played so well tonight. Wins it back. But Paleo, oh, he lost the ball. And oh, no, I'll tell you what. Fucking hell. I was very worried for a second there. Oh, Nana was going to drop a clanger as we're still tied. And as Kimpembe sends it long. Go on, that's yours, mate. That's yours. Oh, that should have been yours, Woodburn. Renato Sanchez on the ball. Sends it along to John Jules, who steps in field. Chiesa. Oh, what a finish. And the Gunners have worn it at the death. I don't believe it. We've done so well to battle back. And Arsenal have put the dagger into our hearts. John Jules with a nice ball across the edge of the area. And Chiesa talk about the finish on the half volley right into the bottom corner. And that's that. It's good night, Cardiff. The game is over. We may as well just throw everything forward now. But that's that. I can't believe it. I can't believe it, man. We were so close to forcing a shootout. Based on what happened in the Champions League final, we probably would have lost it. One final chance for a throw. As uh, Cessignon flicks on, but as Renato Sanchez cleared, that is that. Oh, the drama. Arsenal win out of the death. 2-2 two, two on the night, but 4-3 over two legs. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to sympathise with the boys as well, just like Henrik Larsson suggests. We gave it our all tonight. And I'll say to the boys, we were the underdogs out there and you gave it your best. Good effort, lads. We, we did well to put up a fight. After the first leg, it seemed like the tie was over. But we did really, really well out there. But we just couldn't hold on for a shootout. 4-3 on our gut. We are out of the Europa League. In the round of 16, the board will not be happy, but for player Maria, really pleased to see him bag a brace out there in a big game. Three goals in the two legs as well. So I will individually pra praise him for that too. But sadly, it comes in vain. Should have kept Jason on. But that was today's episode of the Football Manager Series, guys. So a big thank you for watching. What a finale. And I'll see you for the next episode very soon. Well, we may as well come back for the very next two games. There's so many big games coming. We may as well come back for the next two games again. We've got Fulham in the FA Cup quarterfinals. As we aim to get to Wembley and back to the semis for the first time in two years. And then the league leaders Liverpool at home in a big battle in the top four as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Much love to you all. And I'll see you for the next episode where we'll try to recover from that heartbreak very soon. Bye now.